What's up, YouTube? We're back. More tutorials today. It's Strenny Mac here. I'm going to show you how to make a reverse reverb in Ableton Live. It's a very simple vocal effect that I think has a whole other extra oomph to vocals on other mashups or remixes to become a lost art, in my opinion, between producers lately these days. I love the reverse reverb effect. I'm going to show you how to make it. So, producers, use it. Thank you. Um, I always appreciate it when I hear a track in a club or in a set that uses this opposed to just dropping in an acapella over a mashup. So here's how the track sounds currently. Too much light in this window. Don't wake me up. Only coffee, no sugar. It's coming along good. We made this in our How to Make a Mashup in 5 Minutes tutorial. You can go check that out on the page. I got it in the description for you. Uh, we're going to now add this reverse reverb. First part, we want to figure out which vocal we're going to use to make this happen. Let's see where we're at. Too much light. Most of what I think we can use here Too much light. is this little where it comes in two. We can amp up into this two. So we're going to go ahead and take about an eighth of a bar, Command C. And paste it into a new audio track. We have it in its own track. Let's Command J and condense it. Alright. Slow this up. Alright. Now we're going to go ahead and go into the audio. And we're going to reverse it. Take the sample, reverse it. You can't have a reverse reverb without the reverb, can you? Drop on a reverb. Standard stock Ableton and reverb works just fine. Quality, put that on high. All qualities in effects through Ableton run it through the high quality. Uh, dry wet is fine where we're at. We like the decay time between six and seven seconds. Six and a half works just fine. Everything else stays the same. Don't mess it. Don't mess with it. Uh, the goal for this is to be simple, be effective. Here's how it sounds now. All right, hopefully you can see where we're going with this. Uh, with the little extra tail, we want to record this into its own track. To do so, we're going to take uh, an empty audio track. We're going to go to the input. We're going to record in from for audio. Everything else is fine as it is. We're going to record arm. And we're going to hit the record button for the master global record. Now let's record it in. All right, we have this tail nicely recorded in. We don't want to use this part of our reverse reverb in our track. We just oh, it'll oversample if you reverse it back, and then you have this on top of the two that we just put on. It'll just sound whack. So delete that, and shockingly, we're going to now reverse this audio back. Act a nice little ramp. Now let's go ahead and click and drag this over. We're actually going to um, put this on zero. And let's see how this sounds currently loaded up with the actual track. Oh, we don't want to have this on. You don't want to add a delay onto the delay. Too much light in now where we're at, let's go ahead and label this here. Verse or reverb. Uh, this is our vox, our vocal. Now let's go ahead and flip over to the other view, the tab. Uh, let's go ahead and now load it up and see where we're at on the DVD range. Too much light in the when the vox comes in, we're at around negative 8 dB. Reverse reverb negative 15. We're going to raise it up about the difference. It's about 8 dB. Let's go in and uh, 8 dB on your audio. Too much light in this there we go. You like that? We're going to add more vocal effects and processing on the vocal later on. But for now, this works fine. We'll even add, you know what, we're going to add an extra dB. We'll make it 9 for now. Too much 
To add a little dampening on this, we're going to add some reverb on top of our reverse reverb. As you can see on our send, we've got our reverb bus ready to go. Our reverb send, 100% uh, wet, of course, high quality. We're going to send about this much through just to dampen it just a little bit. Maybe even a little delay, too. We've got our delay, our dub station set up on a little quarter note action, 100% wet. This adds a little bit of a tail on top of that tail, just so it uh, it blends smoothly with the intro of the acapella. But that's how that's done. Thanks for watching the tutorial, how to make a reverse reverb in Ableton Live. Please click subscribe and follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, all that good stuff. I post up free mashups, bootlegs all the time. Hopefully more remixes coming soon, as well as more tutorials. Journey Mac, out. Thanks for watching.